welcome into episode number 185 of The Voice Behind the Voice. I'm Sean Aronson, the TV and radio broadcaster for the St. Paul Saints, an independent minor league baseball team in the Twin Cities. I was prepared right now to go on this little rant about home ownership and things that are falling apart and how terrible I am at fixing things, but you've heard that before. And so now I'm going to go on a rant about something that literally just happened uh, about 10 minutes before I sat in this room to, to record the open. And that is the penalties were issued for the Houston Astros for all intents and purposes, their cheating scandal, right? For using technology to help them win the World Series uh, in 2017. Now, I say this as unbiased as possible as a Dodgers fan, right? Astros beat the Dodgers in that World Series in seven games. So I promise you, I am saying this as unbiased as potentially possible. Because for, for the longest time, and people have asked me since it went down and they found out about this, I said, look, don't strip the Astros of their World Series title. Don't give it to the Dodgers. Don't like That doesn't mean anything, right? It, that, that's not going to mean you know, that the Dodgers actually won the World Series. You're not going to have that emotion of them winning it. So I wasn't for any of that. But with that said, I do not feel like the punishment handed down just moments ago was anywhere near as harsh as it should have been. Basically what happened is their manager and GM suspended for a year. They've lost four draft picks first and second round draft pick for the next two years and find what I believe is the maximum of $5 million. Now, we can all agree, I would hope, $5 million means nothing to any major league organization, but it is the maximum you can find. So the the money does nothing in terms of crippling this organization. I would argue that the loss of their GM and manager for one year does nothing to cripple their organization. And the loss of four draft picks, while first and second round draft picks that are extremely valuable, does nothing to cripple this organization. I thought that the Astros would get somewhere close to, quote unquote, the death penalty, similar to what SMU got back in, what was it, 1980, 1981. Now, obviously, you can't kick the Astros out of Major League Baseball. You can't prevent them from playing in postseason baseball. But to me, this does nothing to cripple an organization that if you read the report, and I haven't read every word of it, I've just seen things that have been posted in the last 10, 15 minutes, out and out cheated, like flat cheated, right? And if you are trying to deter anyone from doing this again by saying, well, if this happens again, we're going to be even harsher, I don't feel that the initial punishment for this first time or the first team to to get caught uh, is harsh enough. Just me. They can still trade. They can still sign free agents. Their salary cap is still the same as everybody else's. The luxury tax, if they go over that, is still as the same as everybody else's. So for the most part, they are still playing on an even playing field as everybody else. And again, I say this as unbiased as possible, not as someone that is a diehard Dodger fan and the Astros beat them in one of the World Series in which it was found that they cheated in. Of course, the irony, if if I'm using that word correctly in this, is the Dodgers lost back-to-back World Series to two teams that were discovered to have cheated uh, at some point, uh, if not both during the playoffs. So, just my opinion for whatever it's worth, which is probably much of nothing, but did not feel like it was anywhere close to as harsh as it could have been. Take away their right to make trades, take away their right to sign free agents, take away their right to make them a better organization. Um, and I just don't feel like they did that. So that's me. And with that, let's get to episode number 185 with Travis Demers of the Portland Trailblazers. Uh, I always love talking to guys who have some sort of connection, albeit in this case, a roundabout way to me. I had hired an intern, uh, broadcast assistant, uh, a couple of years ago named Evan Giddings. 
who worked in uh, the Oregon market and Travis was Evan's boss at the time. Now, I didn't know Travis. I, I did not know Travis until we sat down for this conversation. But, uh, but my broadcast assistant um, obviously knew him very well. He, w- he was his boss. And so we had that, uh, we had that little, little connection. And Travis is a young guy. I mean, he's uh, a little bit younger than, than I am. Um, and here he is in, in the NBA, uh, first full season in the NBA. He did some fill-in work a year ago. Um, for Brian Wheeler, who was the longtime uh, voice of the Trailblazers. Uh, Travis filled in for him, um, and now he is the number one guy uh, for the, the Trailblazers taking over for, uh, for Brian Wheeler. So uh, great conversation. A lot of interesting things with Travis here, including some of the other jobs that he has held over the course of time outside of the broadcasting world. It was a struggle for him to get to this point. It is all rewarding when you get here, but the struggle is something that a lot of people don't see, which if you've listened to any one of the episodes uh, that we've recorded here, you know about all those struggles. But this one is great in terms of uh, you know him working construction jobs, worked at Disney World as an intern um, very, very early on. I think he was still a college student at that point. Um, so we get into kind of all these other other jobs that, that he had leading up to. He was a traffic reporter as well, which I found fascinating. Um, still do find that kind of interesting um, when people are traffic uh, reporters and, and what goes along with that. So uh, we sat down at the, uh, the hotel the team stays at. Uh, Travis, uh, extremely nice guy and was uh, gracious with his time. If you have not subscribed to the podcast, you could do so wherever you get your podcast. And again, be sure to rate us. Uh, new ratings by, by people coming in all the time and, and people commenting um, in those ratings uh, over the last couple of months. So for those of you that did that, I appreciate that. By you rating this podcast, it only elevates it in terms of either A, people, other people listening to it, or, or B, if someone listens to a similar type of podcast this one gets recommended to them. So your your ratings most certainly help wherever you're going to rate on on whatever uh, platform you listen uh, to this podcast. Um, and then be sure to follow us, Twitter, at The Voice BTV, Facebook, facebook.com backslash The Voice BTV. And you can always email me, The Voice BTV at gmail.com. All right, let's get to it. Episode number 185 with Travis Demers of the Portland Trailblazers. JW, it's good to know that the Saints won a championship fair and square this year, isn't it? Roll the open. The summer after my sophomore year of college, I had a buddy who really wanted to get down there. Yeah. And he dragged me along to the interview process. And I'm like, yeah, this could be fun. We'd go down there together and you know, have some fun at Disneyland, Disney World in, in Florida for the summer. And um, we went out to, I think it was like Suffolk Community College, and there was just a, a big room of people that were trying out for this this college internship this college program and only two people got it and I was one of them and I, I got the letter from my friend and I, I called him and I was expecting him to say he got one too but he didn't and uh, that was it was an awkward position because he really wanted to sure. do this and I was just kind of going along for the ride 